you have a beautifully decorated nameplate for your home. So when you come to my door, whose house is it, Al? Rolyet Mitt. All you gotta do is read it. It says, Rolyet Mitt. Well, how did I screw that up? Well, anyway, this is one of the uses for a scrolling saber saw. Another way to make a scroll cut is use your coping saw. Now, say, Al, do you suppose they call these coping saws because they're good at handling stress? I don't think so, Roll Yet. Thanks, Al. I mean, La. Anyway, all this week, La and I will be doing our salute to saws. Now, to most people, saws just mean noise, wood chips, and maybe a missing finger or two. <laughs> Not to me. To me, a saw says the sound of power. Something a man can relate to. Yeah, now this bad boy's raw power. Know yourselves, yeah. It's a 3.5 cubic inch chainsaw. Automatic oil, manual chain stop. Oh, yeah. Sign, Al. Besides, the women know I'm kidding. If not, they're probably too busy yapping to hear me anyway. That's Tim Taylor, Carol Two Time, PO Box 3273. Al, does the words job search mean anything to you at all? <laughs> what I'm trying to say here is that tools in general don't just have to make banging, crashing, sawing noises, tools can also make music. And to prove my point, I've got a special guest invited here to Tool Time. So I expect a big Tool Time welcome for Miss Janine Ray Heller. Oh, I'm a big fan of yours, Al. Well, thank you. Why don't you sit right down here? As we all can plainly see, Janine's got an ordinary Binford cross-cut saw, which means we're going to have her build us a sun porch. <laughs> no, Tim, I'm going to be playing music. Music to even the most sensitive of ears. All right, hit it, Janine. Any requests? Uh, maybe... Oh, well, yes, I have one. It's from my favorite movie. <laughs> Do you know the theme to Dumbo? <laughs> Tim, that's my favorite movie about an elephant. <laughs> I would like to hear... Green sleeves? Oh, let's party. <laughs> I know that. to it that loud it just sounds terrible music is to be experienced that's why you got to crank it up is that better <laughs> oh i don't believe this what's wrong i think i blew out the woofer in these things well can you fix that you know, these are old. Why don't we buy new speakers? No, no, Come no, on, no, 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 think no, about no, it. No, no. They're, they're great. I've been reading a lot about speakers now. They're changing. Five-way bass reflex, right? 
triple crossover networks. It excites me so much when you talk the, about the sound. conductors, high response. Jill. Mega Jill, when they, they, they got, you got a minute? Woofers. You got a minute? <laughs> Can I speak for just one second here? All right. They're new. They've got magnetic dampening and cooling, mini tweeters. They got aluminum diaphragms now in them. <laughs> Will you just rest? I'm going down to Lucky G Stereo and check it out. You're not going to buy anything but speakers, right? No. Nothing else? No, no. Well, maybe look at amps. Digital audio is out. kind of cool. You stay here. I'll go buy the speakers. Joe, please, 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 please stay here. You go. You end up getting matching wood grain and a soft decor to go with carpets, chairs, and linoleum. Mm -hmm. Men's speakers. That's what I'm after. Speakers with an attitude. Speakers <laughs> that haven't shaved in a couple of days. That's it. <laughs> Before you get all these hairy speakers, I want you to stop and think to yourself, what would Jill want me to buy? I always do that. Well, listen this time. All right. <laughs> buy sensible speakers. But we could upgrade the amp. I could boost the power. No rewire boosting. Through. No rewiring. I just want something simple that I can turn on. Like me. <laughs> Not that simple. <laughs> Bet the best dual concentric design speaker elements with the tweeter inside the woofer. Woof. <laughs> okay, you get the donuts. I'll distract Dad. Hey, Dad. Yes, son. How's it going? Okay. I got a question for you. How do you build a house? It's a good question. All right, first, you select the site we're going to build. Then you pick the style of house, and then you put the donuts right back in the cupboard. Oh, man. Where are you going? I haven't finished. You, then you pour the foundation. Later, Dad. Dad, I found the instructions. You said the warning. Now, real men don't use instructions, son. Besides, this is just the manufacturer's opinion of how to put this together. <laughs> we got a better way, don't we? Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> well, I got you. Help me take these boxes out the garbage, all right? Heidi ho big neighbor and little neighbor. Hi, Wilson. Ah, I see you got yourself some stereo equipment. Ah, uh, state of the art, my friend. Mm -hmm. I was looking for speakers, but ended up with a whole entertainment center. So you and Jill have been shopping together? Uh, she couldn't make it, so I'm I'm hoping to surprise her. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wait till she sees the CD player. Eight times oversampling holds 18 CDs. <laughs> we could party all night, man. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Your lovely wife just came in, Tim, and I think you're right. She does look surprised. <clears throat> well, Jill, what do you think? How much did it cost? Well, not a lot, considering all the titanium. How much? <laughs> well, nothing. Actually, it's on a five-day trial. If you don't like it, you get your money back. I thought you were going to ask yourself, what would Jill want me to buy? I asked her, and this is what she said. <laughs> uh, no, the, 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 the salesman down at the stereo place, Biff, said... Are you into opera? Oh, Biff asked you that. Yeah. And, and, and he said that if you are, you'd like the Dolby Prologic surround sound. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. So you just bought all this stuff for me. Absolutely. <laughs> what is this thing right there? Your new police scanner. <laughs> Gee, thanks, honey. It's just what I always wanted. Well, I was going to wait for our anniversary, but, you know... It's a special time for me. Tim, why are you so obsessed with all this gadgetry? It's way too complicated. This couldn't be simpler. Oh, yeah, okay, then you tell me. How do I turn the TV on? Piece of cake. Set your preamp. Turn on your amp. Set VTR button to TV. Sound system acoustical or flat. Dolby up, 1C. Flip on your monitor. Tim, box it up, open the door, put it in the car, take it back. Look, I, I anticipated your techno fright. <laughs> Watch what I did. I rewired the whole system to be sound sensitive. What's that? Listen to this. You just turn the whole unit on. Okay. Now, you want the TV on? Clap once. <laughs> <Come on. laughs>
See? Oh no, it, it, uh, the TV's twice. Three times TV, there. I'll get this one. Okay. about this remote you installed where you clap uh -huh. when we're watching the opera tomorrow and the audience applauds. Oh, will that turn the TV off? <laughs> Help me out and grab that bare wire for me, will you please? Tim, I don't want to be your nagging wife. Well, then how will I recognize you? <laughs> oh, all right, and Lola, it's a party. Let's go. Are you mud wrestling on the weekends? <laughs> your equipment to locate audio in jack and auxiliary output or VCR and CD reverse process or go ah jeez do I go in from the output or out from the input hi do you home neighbor hi Wilson did you get that sound system hooked up yet oh yeah a piece of cake man <laughs> can I ask you a question what's my tweeter Tim <laughs> when you listen to your music do you have it up so loud it rattles the walls well, I used to, Tim, but nowadays when I pound on the bongos that hard, it just makes my palms sore. <laughs> right. Jill thinks I'm obsessed with all this stereo technology. Mm -hmm. That's not it, you know. I like I like the loud music, you know. I like the, but I like sound. That's what I like. Mm -hmm. I like 20 megahertz roaring through my body, shaking my bladder, my brain's blasting, my stomach's quivering. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, yes. See, it's not unlike what the ancient Greeks felt during a dithyram. Dithyram? Mm. How do you spell that? Well, uh, let's just say a poem with wild and irregular rhythms. Let's just say that. Right. The dithyram actually was a prelude to Greek theater. There was much stylized dancing and chanting as 50 naked men danced to the beat of a drum. I think there's a place like that down by the airport. One of my favorite dithyrams actually is quite similar to the chorus in the play by Aeschylus. Give ear to my dithyram. Ah! My flesh crawls while I listen to them pray. The day of doom has waited long. Oh, pain! Grown into the race and blood dripping stroke and grinding cry of disaster moaning and impossible weight to bear. I am cleansed. <laughs> These guys would do that naked? We have a very special program. I'm Tim Taylor. Of course, this is my assistant, Al. I wish I could be Tim Taylor Borla. <laughs> Like I said, we have a very special show today. You mean you're not going to break anything, Tim? <laughs> Maybe just your contract, fella. <laughs> Last time, you remember, we saw Janine Ray Heller play her saw. That's right. Oof. You remember seeing Janine play the saw? Yes, Tim, I've seen her saw. <laughs> so you say you saw her saw? <laughs> yes, I saw her saw. So? <laughs> so now you're saying you saw her saw? Not so. I've seen her saw. <laughs> I see. Well, enough of that nonsense. Anyway, after the show, we got a terrific letter from the guys at K&B Construction Company. Boy, were they pumped. They wrote me, and I was excited to see them, so I've invited them down here to Tool Time. And I want you all to give a big Tool Time welcome. To the boys from K&B Construction, Bay City, Michigan, Rock, Dwayne, Pete, and Jew. Hey! Hey, 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 h
Nice to have you back again. Man. Great to be back, Timmy. Listen, we were so inspired by Janine's performance oh, on that yeah. saw, but next day we went out to the job site and just started listening to the sounds of the tools around us. <laughs> we kept hearing the reverberation of steel on steel. Oh, yeah. Sledgehammers cracking concrete ah, ah, ah. and jackhammers busting some in. Yes! Yeah. That was a veritable cacophony culminating in a creative crescendo. <laughs> Uh, Timmy, it was amazing. Old Juke here whipped out his mouth harp, started playing along with those sounds. Musical magic was happening right there, way above the traffic. You guys making music like that, it reminds me of a dithram, you know? A Greek thing where 50 guys get that naked and dance in a field. Yeah! <laughs> time for that, Tim. See, we only get an hour off for lunch. <clears throat> Rock, what do you have for us? Oh, well, uh, <clears throat> Timmy, uh, the guys and I have formed a band. I'll be playing the angle grinder and a 55-gallon drum. Right. Tim, I'm gonna be on the galvanized piping chimes and also on the anvil. Tim, I I'll be on the trash can, the gas cans, and the wrench. Huh. In fact, Tim, I am the entire rhythm section. And hey, Timmy, the lovely Janine is back to fill in the melody. Hey, hey. Oh, Janine, thank you for returning to the show. Why don't you sit right here? Oh, God, my body's quivering right now just thinking about this. People like this built together to build a band that plays with only tools. I guess how we could call this heavy metal. <laughs> I don't think so, Tim. But I do find them riveting. <laughs> hey, Timmy, you're gonna love this. We wrote this one just for you. We call it The Ratchet Rhapsody. Well, making their television debut right here on Tool Time, K and B and the Boys and Janine, rock, let's roll. Pete! That would be me. <laughs> Tim, are you ready? Yeah, Dad, we want to listen to the speakers. Prepare to be amazed. I've got 500 watts running through this bad boy. 500 watts? Is it safe for us to be sitting here? It's as safe as any other job I've done. Okay, boys, let's go. Hey, 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 come back here. I mean it, sit down here. All right, Ms. Negativity. Prepare yourself for a lovely Sunday afternoon at the Metropolitan Opera in beautiful surround sound. 
I'll adjust acoustic level to concert hall. Oh, that's wonderful, Tim. But turn it down. I'm trying, damn it. <laughs> Stuck. agent. I hope they're going to pay for this. Yeah, they are, but they're doubling our deductible. Why? They seem to think that you're accident prone. <laughs> Where are they getting that idea? Well, Tim, just stop and think about it. <laughs> How true. Al, I was going to get to that. <laughs> Why don't you just open my shirt and let him crawl right in, huh? 